The Senate has for the fourth time passed the 2023 national budget of about 28.21.8 trillion naira on Wednesday. The Senate leader, Senator Ibrahim Abdullahi Gobir, explained that in view of critical importance of some key projects nearing completion, it is expected to grant the extension of the expiration clause to avoid compounding the problems of abandoned projects, given that some of the projects were not provided for in the 2023 budget. In his remarks the, after the passage of the budget, the President of the Senate, Ahmad Lawan, congratulated the Senators and the National Assembly in general for keeping to the promise made with respect to the budget cycle. It's as stated in the uh, table in the, in the report. I don't need to read up that again. It is important to state that the committee work harmoniously with the executive arm of government and its counterpart in the House of Representatives in the processing of, the, of this bill, which ensured the collaboration of the National Assembly and the executive arm of government in the discovery and utilization of additional revenue projections to fund or improve the funding of some critical project, projects such as INEC, National Population Commission, Nigerian Army, and other sec security agencies. So, Mr. President, I don't want us to exercise any fear about what is contained in this. It's normal. We should even commend the government for bringing this information out. Total capital expenditure. Five trillion nine hundred and seventy two billion seven hundred and thirty four million nine hundred and twenty nine thousand four hundred and twenty one naira only. Those who are this part of the bill say I, those again say the ISA. Aggregate expenditure twenty one trillion eight hundred and twenty seven billion one hundred and eighty eight million seven hundred and forty seven naira no thousand. 747,391 naira only. Those who are at this time part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. 